Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the latest episode of the Project Dramond stand-ups update thingies things. Yeah, we do every Wednesday. It is August 4th, 2021. Tonight is a special night because not only are we doing this, but right after this, we're rolling into the first of the playtest sessions, which are kind of like an alpha test for what we've got so far with our rule set for Project Dram and Tabletop. Obviously, it is a 5th edition campaign, or, or I should say we're using 5th edition as a primary rule set, um, but then we're also using our own custom stuff, and we're just using our own setting, so we're doing a supplemental campaign, if you want to say supplemental world. Um, we're playtesting right after this with five other people, so hopefully, well, actually, no, because those of you who are watching this are watching it, after that and or on Friday morning. In any case, the video will be up and we will be play testing for the next five to eight weeks um, as we go through this first campaign module, which is just a short adventure for levels like one to three. Um, so hopefully you'll enjoy. Which brings me to my stand up, which has been all about getting all of this prep ready. So getting all my maps done, getting all the Roll20 stuff set up, uh, getting my rough notes and putting those into session notes. My alarm's going off, um, which I only really have worked on finalizing the first session, which is tonight. Um, and then I've got a rough idea of where we're going for session two. And then as soon as we wrap up with this, I'll be prepping that. I've also been helping Chris with, um, excuse me, logos. Uh, for the brand, um, which is slow going. Uh, everything itches right now. So for those of you who don't know, I broke my nose on Sunday um, and it's itching like crazy and I'm stuffy because the left side I can't breathe very good because that's the side I clocked. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I've been helping Chris with logos. She's doing variants. I did a variant. She's working on two different variants right now with some other ideas that she got, one of which is really cool. She found like this elven helmet, which had a really cool visual, and she flipped it on its side, then copied it, flipped the other one on its side so that they're, you know, meeting in the middle, but they're on their side now. So we've got the curvature of the helms. Mm. I kind of teased, I teased that on, you can kind of see a brief tease of that on um, TikTok. TikTok, yeah, it was a. She just used that as a very basic kind of source of inspiration, which I thought was really cool because it was just like, I'm over here looking at other logos, and she had the idea of what we were looking for for the second iteration, and she found the helmet, flipped it on its side, and was like, hey, I think that works for the corner, and if I do it over here, that's the other corner, and then we can mash them together, and so that's that's what she's working on. Um, yeah, and that's all we're working on for the rest of the month. I'll be doing. Tabletop stuff, I'm also going to be working on chapters 4 and 5 throughout the month of August, and she'll be alternating between logo work and work on the chapter art for chapters 4 and 5 on an as-needed basis. <laughs> cool. So, since last week, uh, I was working on trying to get the questing system implemented while I was waiting on Garen back from the creator of our adventure pack. I was able to get the camera angles changed uh, to to transition while we enter quest dialogue and to stay at that camera until we exit questing dialogue which that was cool i'm always really proud of myself when i figure something out that's programming based because i'm like Woo! blueprints for the win yeah so got that figured out um working on the questing system having some issues with it um but i think my issues that i'm having with it are the same issues that i'm having with the bug that we found where items are not staying despawned via different scenes which he thinks is a uh, save function um, so he gave me some more pointers on some more things to look at uh, we went spur of the moment camping with the kids yesterday and today so didn't get to look at that today and yesterday but um, first thing tomorrow when i jump back in it that's what i'll be taking a look at because if that's the case if that's the problem, then all the issues I'm having where it's not saving strings that I'm creating is because of whatever it's not doing. So I keep thinking it's something that I've scripted wrong, but it could be this same issue that I'm having. So hopefully we'll get that figured out because I really need to get that figured out so I can work on interiors. 
Um, because the questing system, once I have that implemented, that literally is all. The, that was the last mechanic to figure out. So. Yeah, because once we've got that done, I've already gotten all the dialogue written. So it's just a matter right. of getting that and into like, the game. We have all the lore quest type stuff, but those aren't really. When I say questing, you know, just so if anybody's watching, it's so that we can turn stuff in and have that never show up again. You know, like a, we're not, we don't have an actual quest log or anything like that, but we don't want it to ever show up in the dialogue options again. So yeah, if you turn in a cup of ale, he shouldn't ask you to go get another cup of ale when you talk to him next time. So it's just right. a save state functionality. But we do have yes. some workarounds. I, I know you and I have talked about workarounds. Yep. If that can't, if you can't figure out how to make the in built in quest system work. Um, uh, there's tons of options, yes, right. but we're trying to get something. We gotta keep this thing moving because I could create my own quest system. I'm trying to use the quest system based on a type of quest system that the creator of the pack used. So I'm trying to look at how he did it, and I'm trying to do it the same way so that it functions within the pack. I could. There's tons of information on the internet. I could create my own questing system and have it run separately, but you don't know what kind of issues you're gonna run in with that trying to work with the pack. I'm trying yep. to use all of that so okay well that's gonna be speaking of which oh. we're in a meeting but we need to remember to write reviews on all the packs that we use because we need to yes, get especially do. that guy an a plus review because like his customer service is amazing well i'll let you do that because you've got the master login um and you're the one working with all that stuff but yeah we should for sure all right, thanks everybody. Uh, if you're tuning in uh, later on, you know, obviously watching this, whenever you're watching this, don't forget a couple of things, really important. Subscribe to YouTube, obviously, so you get future updates and all the things. But remember that here very shortly, probably September, as we get the branding and everything worked out, we're going to be moving away from the Project Ram and placeholder. These videos will no longer be taking place on my personal YouTube channel. They will be transferred over to the brand YouTube channel. So you're going to want to make sure to pay attention to all that stuff, which means you're going to want to definitely subscribe here so that you get the updates so you know when that happens, but make sure you also join the Discord, which you can find in the links below. And of course, if you really want to join and follow along with what we're doing and help out and participate, you can pick up a subscription over at Patreon. Obviously, everything we're doing for the tabletop testing, everything else is being done through Patreon, so all the patrons get access to the maps, the chapters as they get published from the story, developer updates on the adventure game that happen every Sunday. We do updates three times a week. Uh, tabletop updates on Tuesdays, book and concept art updates on Thursdays and or book chapters on Thursdays along with the adventure game updates on Sundays and everything in between on our social medias. So do all those things, follow us all the places and don't forget to tune in to the first playtest session which is probably going to have lots of quirks because it's none of us have used some of us have never used roll 20 and i haven't used roll 20 in a very long time so this is this is a an alpha play test it's not a polished we are not critical role we are just getting going with this so tune in let us know what you think see you next time